You know, I, while I was away, my wife and I, we were at Myrtle Beach. We were not on vacation. We were not on sabbatical. We were at a marriage retreat uh, hosted by the Our Own Company Fellowship, and we had a marvelous time. The Lord blessed us. We worked while we were there. We worked on the way there, did some interviews, and while there, I got a call from one of the news agencies, and they wanted to know uh, how I felt about uh, the Boy Scouts' most recent decision. And um, I, I told them that I lament the Boy Scouts' decision um, to yield to the financial pressure that was put, placed upon them uh, to go against their creed. I would have been happier had they emerged or reemerged as a smaller amen streamlined boy scouts of america but a boy scouts that still held to its creed and part of the scout oath is to be morally straight and you cannot be morally straight and admit open uh, confessing homosexuals, allow them to either be members of the scouts, and of course they said after they found out that the scouts caved to allow homosexuals to join, they, in their camp they said we're not happy until they get homosexual scout leaders. In my opinion, and I certainly hope that I'm right, um, that if, if this is the, the direction that they're going, going to go in, then the Boy Scouts of America is dead as we know it. And we don't need it. For if you are, are crazy enough to send your child into the woods overnight, with a pedophile, you need your head examined and you need to be taken to court uh, for neglect. Amen. Part of the homosexual manifesto that they tried to disclaim was to infiltrate all sectors of society that were male dominated. They said, We will, in, uh, we will uh, enter. We will enter into your locker room. We will infiltrate your all-male-oriented places. We will infiltrate your Boy Scouts, and they're doing just that because people have forgotten and turned their back on the Bible. In the name of a buzzword that Hitler threw around, fairness. In the name of tolerance. All of this stuff is out of Hitler's playbook when he got the Germans to turn their back on the Jews and let people die. It's what we're seeing now. Fairness is one of the words you hear often that's taken right out of his playbook. In the name of being fair, we are throwing, we are actually, we've actually turned our back on the God of the Bible. But I thank God that even though the Boy Scouts of America has changed, the upper room has not changed. And the Bible has not changed. <clears throat> if you Google, you can go back to 2002, June the 4th, it was posted when this church and this preacher gave a $5,000 donation to the Boy Scouts of America because the local um, um, the Triangle United Way decided not to fund the Boy Scouts because Boy Scouts did not admit homosexuals. And I said then when we gave that gift, and I quote myself, uh, it, is, it is a shot that's fired. And I said this, what if every church would give that amount or something smaller or greater? If the churches would support, if the saints would stand up, then maybe some of these things could be stopped. 
But you know, we live in a day where we have today what Adolf Hitler called positive Christianity. Positive Christianity, term coined by Hitler, is a Christianity that doesn't agree, that does not disagree with government, that will not stand against government leaders, that will not speak out even if the government is wrong. It's, it's a toothless, powerless, meaningless form of Christianity. Christianity that means nothing. It's Christian, is no Christianity at all. When we have a Christianity, but we're not willing to pay for what it is we say we want and fight for the kind of society that we say we want to live in, then that's a meaningless Christianity. And much of what we see today is happening because the saints won't stand up. And it breaks my heart to see this time-honored uh, uh, organization go to pot as it is going because it's caving to the whims and the will of a few.